Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Miss Grace and I'm so happy to see you all here for Children's Chapel this morning, a time just for kids and their families. I'm also glad to see you all here for my last Children's Chapel. It's been a wonderful past couple of months with you all, but I will be headed off to new journeys, just as you all will have your own new journeys this summer and in the next school year. So now we're going to continue our time together and we're going to start by singing it's a song so go ahead and stand up and sing along with us great job of singing and dancing. You can go ahead and have a seat. And now we're going to continue our time together by listening to our Bible story. So go ahead and put on your listening ears and we're going to listen to today's Bible story. God's masterpiece. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. Huh? Hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, 
be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always, and the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that He would be with us to the end of the age, and He is. But have you ever held a helium balloon? Balloons that have helium in them can float in the air, so you may have had some string to help you hold onto the balloon. I don't have one with me today, but when we have a balloon, it's important to hold onto the balloon very tightly so that it doesn't float away into the air. But sometimes, when we're inside and with an adult's permission, we can let go of our helium balloon and watch it float away from us. It can be fun to stand and watch as the balloon floats higher and higher until it reaches the ceiling. But the only way to experience that is to be willing to let the balloon go. So today in the church, we're celebrating a day called Ascension Sunday. Can you say that word? Ascension Sunday? Ascension Sunday. Well, on Ascension Sunday, we honor the time when Jesus returned, or ascended, back to heaven. And in today's Bible story, we learn that when Jesus was ready to return to heaven, he took his disciples aside to make sure that they understood everything that had happened to Jesus. So, Jesus explained that it was important for him to be crucified, to die on the cross, and it was important for him to be raised from the dead to fulfill what the scriptures had said about him. Jesus also told them that he was going to return to his Father in heaven, or God, and that the Holy Spirit would come to be with them. And at first, the disciples were sad that Jesus would be leaving them, but then the Bible tells us that Jesus opened their minds so they would understand. And an amazing thing happened. The Bible tells us that Jesus lifted his hands and he blessed his disciples. And while he was blessing them, he lit, was lifted up and was taken up into heaven, up, up, and away. And as the disciples stood and watched as Jesus ascended higher and higher into the sky until he disappeared from view, the disciples weren't sad anymore. Jesus had taught them everything they needed to know to understand what was happening. And they knew that the Holy Spirit would come to be with them. So, when Jesus had gone up into heaven, the disciples worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. As Christians, we can also celebrate with the disciples on today, Ascension Sunday, and this is because we know that Jesus is still with us in our hearts and in our lives, and we know that the Holy Spirit is with us too. Even though Jesus left this earth, he is still alive and with us. So now we're going to continue celebrating Jesus' ascension into heaven with some more songs. So I invite you to stand back up and join us in singing and dancing some more.
watching Life Tree Kids. <laughs> <laughs> and have a seat. And now we always end our chapel time with prayer. So we're going to take some time and pray together. And remember, prayer is a time when we can go to God and we can talk to God about our fears, anything that's worrying us. We can also thank God for our friends and family and the good things that we have in our life. And we can always talk to God and pray anytime. So we can pray when we're feeling scared or if we're about to have a big test at school, we can pray anytime. And now I'm gonna ask you to pray with me. So go ahead and fold your hands and bow your heads and then repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus we thank you for your love. I pray for my friends, my family, my church, and my community. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you all for being here with us this morning. It was great to see you. And as a reminder, we have uh, in services in person at 10.30 a.m. and online on our Facebook page. We hope to see you at one of those. Bye.